Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, now we get a little more uh, info on the whole Rock Nation main events. Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev, HBO deal. Um, in regards to, does Andre have to fight Sergey Kovalev? And it really gives us an insight into why he came out saying, I'm being forced to fight Sergey Kovalev. Um, Andre, this is from boxing scene. Um, <clears throat> the title is Kovalev's promoter reacts to Andre Ward's comments. It's by Steve Kim. Shout out, Steve Kim. All right. Andre Ward raised a few eyebrows during his recent appearance on the fight game with Jim Lampley uh, and Michelle Beadle. Um, that he would not be rushed into a light heavyweight Sergey Kovalev. That he would not be rushed into a fight, I'm sorry, with light heavyweight Sergey Kovalev. The belief is that Ward's new multi-fight deal with HBO would call for him to face the Crusher at some point next year. Now, we find out that it is not HBO. Um, see, people jump the gun on this shit. It ain't HBO that is forcing him to fight Sergey Kovalev. In response to all that, Kathy Duva, the head of main events, which represents Kovalev, told uh, Boxing Scene, we signed an agreement with Rock Nations, so Main Events and Sergey Kovalev signed an agreement with Rock Nation uh, and Andre Ward for Ward to fight Kovalev in 2016. The only if here is if Ward actually gets in the ring. We can't stop him from getting injured or retiring but if he gets in the ring after June 16th uh, or I mean June of 2016 I'm sorry it will be against Sergey Kovalev we would love to do the fight sooner but Ward wants his tune-ups in the meantime Sergey will go on with his career against the best opposition that isn't afraid to fight him. That's a harsh jab thrown at Ward there. Kovalev is scheduled to face Jean Pascal on June 30th. Ward was scheduled to face Alexander Brand on the Cotto Canelo pay-per-view undercard next week, but was scratched from that uh, with lingering problems in his right knee, and it's not clear when his return to the ring will be. Um, he also relinquished his WBA 168-pound title. All right, so if Ward fights after June of 2016, it has to be against Sergey Kovalev. That's where it came from. All right, Rock Nation put him in this position. So if anyone's, Rock Nation's racist, Jay-Z uh, is racist, I guess, you know. He, the Rock Nation and uh, the Iskowich dude, is the ones that made this deal with main events. Because, you know, I'm sure they gave him a lot of money and they want a fucking return. Uh, you know, so they made a deal that will give him his tune-up time. But after that, it's the crusher. You ain't got really, you ain't got a choice. After June of 2016, you can't fight unless you fight against Sergey Kovalev. Uh, now, again, the only way Ward can get out of this, um, is by retiring, uh, or injuries. It's very suspicious that an injury occurs right before his first tune-up. Uh, you know, meaning, like, he's, like, rethinking all of this. Like, you know, I gotta come up with a much better game plan, which is smart, uh, because uh, a few of us are on record saying, dude, if you're going to fight Kovalev, you do not want to be fighting the Alexander Brands of this world. Or you are going to get fucked up when you step up to that high level that you haven't been at since 2011. 
So, is the injury real? Um, who knows? Uh, you know, I, I would tend to honestly believe it's bullshit just to get out of that first tune-up, but maybe in a smart way so he can go and fight somebody better. Um, will, will Ward retire to get out of this fight? Now, that is basically for a short-term retirement or a long-term retirement. Like, how long does this contract stand? All right, if he fights, he can't fight after June of 2016 unless it's Sergey Kopalev. But for how long? Like, does it run out on June of 2017? So he just basically has to fight a couple tune-ups. Then right when the time comes to fight um, Sergey Kovalev, injury. An injury happens, uh, or he retires and waits out that contract so he doesn't have to fight Kovalev. But then he can't fight anybody either. Again, a long he'll have another long layoff because he don't want to fight somebody. Um, you know, <laughs> who the fuck can stick up for this guy anymore? You're, it's, this is nuts. Um, now main events is calling him out. Even saying the dude's fucking scared. Um, I didn't even read this, but last night watching the fight game, I could see he was, he didn't want to fight instantly. Instantly. As soon as they brought it up, he's like, you know, his whole thing was, why do I have to give the fans the fight they want when they want it? Manny and Manny and Floyd didn't give it when they wanted it, but we got to remember Floyd didn't give us the fight we wanted when we wanted. And don't let Floyd say all I asked for was blood and urine, because go back and watch it. Is so, they they argued about that for like two weeks, and Manny said whatever, let's do it. And then Floyd pulled out of the negotiations and then actually skipped the networks, so he didn't have to fight Manny Pacquiao. Um, so, no, that, it's not that Manny and Floyd uh, didn't do it. It's that Floyd didn't give the fans the fight they wanted when they wanted it. And that's just one case of him not doing it. He did that numerous times throughout his career. Apparently, Ward thinks because Floyd did it that he can do it. Doesn't he realize that people fucking hated Floyd for that? Uh you know, we, we don't want to see you and Sergey fighting when you're old as fuck. All right, we want to see you guys at your best fighting. They're giving you two tune-up fights, man. And you already had one. So you had a camp. You were just in a camp. Got injured, so you're in all right shape. Your leg ain't hurt. It was just some bullshit fake swelling, whatever. Okay, let it, let it the swelling go down. Rest a couple weeks. Get your ass back in the gym. Have a fight as soon as you possibly can. Uh, do it you know, whenever. Because he can fight Kovalev as soon as possible. As soon as possible. And he can't fight anybody else after June 16th. So he got till June to get however many fights he can. Um, he might be able to get, you know, fucking six in if, uh, you know... Um, he's probably allowed to get in as many as he wants, but the HBO thing is only three. But he could go fight, you know, some scrubs not on HBO, <clears throat> put them on BET or whatever, but fight two on HBO. I'm sure they could work something out like that if he feels he needs more than two. But I think two is enough. He already had one that was at light heavyweight. Come back, like I said a million times, fight someone like a Unieski Gonzalez. Um come back, and then, like I said, fight uh, one of the other main events, light heavyweights, fight somebody that, you know, Kovalev had just fought, maybe like a Pascal, um, someone else, maybe the Kovalev fights after Pascal, uh, you know, I, if I was Ward, I'd fight someone like a Gonzalez right around the same time as him and Pas Kovalev and Pascal are fighting, <clears throat> then maybe wait, um, See who could. That's not enough time. Uh, that's not enough time. You know, he got six months, so he he got he got a he got to get two fights in in six months, and then his third one, you know, they'll probably do it. What 
September-ish, um, somewhere around there, October, uh, but he got six months, well, counting the rest of this year, you know, he got like seven and a half months to get two fights in, but he's not going to fight this year. Um, Ward ain't going to fight again in 2016. Yeah, I, I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. I think he'll fight very beginning of next year. Um, fight right before, you know, right around the Mayish time, early summer. Um, <laughs> then he got to fight Kovalev. Uh, got to do it, you know. This lets you know, though, why... He said, you know, I'm not going to be forced. Um, he ain't talking to HBO, people. He's talking to his own fucking, his own promotional company. Um, but everyone wants to say HBO screwing him over. Screwing him over. They gave him millions of dollars. Um, millions of dollars to, to fight fucking scrubs. They were going to give him two million to fight Alexander Brand. Uh, and I don't see how that's screwing you over. But see, if you watch the fight game, they said, you know, they reneged on everything they said about Ward. Everything good they said about him last time, they said they reneged on it because the dude pulled this shit. Why do you think they said that? It ain't racism. It's insider info. They know what's going on. They know Ward don't want the fight. So they're like, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, you know, we give you every chance in the world. Oh, even Lampley said he got to beat one guy, and he gets to the top of the pound-for-pound pound list. And, since you relinquished your title and all that, he's just the champion of your division. Alright? Th this is your division now, buddy. He's the champ of your division. But Ward don't want it. Like, if you look through Ward's career, his resume, he ain't never fought no one like Kovalev. I mean, whoa, whoa. the best fighter he ever fought was Carl Frotch. And he's a one-dimensional guy. All he can do is come forward and hope he lands a big right hand. He really doesn't have anything else. Honestly. Um, he's, he got far, like I said before, from being tough as nails. Uh, tough as nails. Very determined. Good chin, recuperative powers. He has good skills, but when it comes to the top level, like he can get through all the bottom rung guys, but when it gets to the top level, he his skills aren't good enough to, to beat those guys. Um, like he recently just said, I, I'm happily retired and I'd bash up DeGell. DeGell would beat the shit out of him. Um, DeGell is a, you know, a much more well-rounded fighter. He can fight backwards, forwards, inside, you know, outside. He can just straight box for points if he needs to. Um, he can punch hard as shit. No. He ain't bashing up the girl. Not at all. Um, that's a fucking joke to me, but... And I like Frotch, but no way in hell. And outside of Frotch, he ain't never fought nobody. Like, people act like he cleaned out his division, fought all these great fighters. He didn't. He didn't, and he fought B-level fighters in his backyard with every advantage under the sun in terms of, like, letting him get away with excessively clinching, um, except repeated headbutts on purpose, you know, low blows, everything, man. Just, just you know, dirty tactics. I mean, you, you ask someone, how's Ward going to beat Kovalev? And they throw in, like, four fouls. Like, four illegal things. That's how he's going to beat them. Half of his game plan is illegal tactics. You know. Uh, Ward's a very skilled fighter. But again, it's... You know, can you prove it against the top-level guy? Um, you know, same thing you say with Triple G. You pass the eye test. Uh, but the thing is, Triple G got heart. And he'll fight anyone. Ward don't don't have the heart or the guts, uh, I say, for this shit anymore. You don't. It's just like, you know, he's been living family life as a, you know, an athlete, but really not being, doing much. Um, you want to put him in a ring with scrubs? Yeah, okay, he looks decent, you know. 
Dude went uh, tw 12 rounds with Edwin Rodriguez. I can't say it enough. Go look at Edwin's fucking resume. It's pathetic. Um, and watch the fight. Like, he was getting clipped. Luckily, Edwin can't fucking break an egg with a punch. But imagine Kovalev in that ring. You know? Uh, he don't want it. He knows he's losing. He knows he can't do it. He don't have the belief that he can win. Now, can he win? Yeah, he can win. Um, he can win. He needs a very good game plan. Virgil Hunter is terrible um, at developing game plans, but Ward has a good enough ring IQ where he might be able to come up with a game plan or, you know, adjust. However, Ward's, or Triple C, fuck, Kovalev's corner is very intelligent. They, the, he has a much better corner than Andre Ward. Um, hands down, no questions about it. Um, John David Jackson and uh, Turner, and, give me a break. He got a much better corner. They, they'll they map out the plan. Sergey will execute it. He's going to keep fucking... Ward at a distance. If Ward gets inside and wants to play rough, Kovalev is going to get much rougher, much meaner. He'll slam the shit out of him if he has to and disrupt all of his timing. You know it. You know it. They they already, you know, John David Jackson is on video talking about some of the stuff they will do. Um, I'm sure Ward watched it. He, he knows he, he, he doesn't have a great chance at that fight. Um, and again, you know, he's not the same fighter he was when he beat those other fighters, the B-level guys. You know, he ain't even that fighter anymore. He's not. He's smarter. I guarantee you he has a higher ring IQ now than he did then because of age and experience. Even if he hasn't been fighting, he's been watching boxing, a ringside commentating, staying in the gym. It just happens with age. You get smarter. Um... Even your ring IQ. So he's a smarter fighter, but is he as gifted? Um, you can even watch it through... Go back and watch the Super 6 and watch every fight after that. You can actually see um, some of the things he would do in the Super 6. He, he just don't do them anymore. Why do you think that is? Because he's losing them. Because he's not staying active enough and busy enough. Um, so he's losing skills. He's getting rusty. Right? And he got two fights to, to get back into that form. He knows he can't do it. Um, you know, he can't get back to that level in two fights. Uh, he just can't. He can't. And it's a tough one. It's a tough one. He doesn't have the greatest chin. He doesn't have a glass chin or nothing. But he cannot take Sergey Kovalev's punch. He can't. I mean, the, he's going to get knocked the fuck out. Um, he can't hurt Kovalev. He couldn't He couldn't even hurt Rodriguez. That's a C-level fighter. He couldn't even hurt him, hitting him with the cleanest shots in the world. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, and that Dawson KO, like, take that Dawson KO. When's the last time he scored a KO? You no. Know? Dawson, and then, then, like, again, Paul Smith, like I said, putting Paul, Paul Smith, give me a break, against a decent fighter. Um, not a drained, where he has no fluid around the brain, and his brain's just smashing off his wall, and he gets, that's uh, ridiculous. You know, if you can't KO Kessler, or you can't KO, shit, um, Abraham actually got a good chin. Um, but, you know, Kovalev got a better chin than Abraham. Uh, you know, the, the, the reach and the range that Kovalev can get at and how he can just keep that jab right on you, It's that's the toughest fight in the world for, for uh, Andre Ward. He should have taken the Triple G fight. When they offered it to him, he should have took it. You know, he should have took it. He should have sent them back an offer and said 68 you know, 60-40. It would have made probably more money and it would have been a safer fight for him. He would have actually, you know, maybe been, could have won that one. 
Um, it would have still been hard. People think he just smokes Triple G. Triple G is sharp. He's active. He's at the he's peaking. He's at the peak of his game. Um, he's extremely confident. He fears nobody. You think he's scared of Ward? He told HBO a long time ago, I'm ready for him. Let's do it. Uh, Ward said no. No, he ain't scared of Ward. He was ready for that fight. Why do you think his team sent the offer? You think they didn't think that a counter offer was coming back? And then they'd make a fight. But it, he didn't do that. And now he got fucking stuck. Rock Nation needed a fight. Uh, pfft. They need that money back. They need a big fight. So that he would. They didn't do the triple G one. They took it upon themselves, and basically, Kovalev them. I'm sure in that contract somehow they had the pick of who he fights, <clears throat> and they set it up. And he signed the contract though, and now he's regretting it. He's regretting it. Um, now it kind of all shows you why he's been unraveling lately. You know why he's been mad at the he's been mad at everybody, mad at the fans. You know, this and other fighters totally out of his character. Now it kind of lets you know why. Um, you know, he he probably feels his days are numbered, so they're already putting him on blast for injuries. Basically, telling people watch out for him to fake an injury to try to get out of the fight. And they're saying, no, or, or what's he going to do, retire? That's, that's, that's the only ifs, she says. The only ifs is if he gets in the ring. And once June 2016 comes around, he can't fight no one else other than Sergey Kovalev. So next summer, you're never going to see Ward again unless it's against Kovalev. I'm glad we finally understand the dynamics of this contract and that it basically has nothing to do with HBO. Nothing. They're not the ones who told him to fight Kovalev. All right. Main events and Rock Nation made the deal. HBO, nothing to do with it. They'll just air the fight. So, you know, people just jump the gun and love to, you know, call shit stuff that it ain't, man. You know, Ward signed a contract, and now, once again, he wants to get out of something he signed. You know, it's, uh, I'm ready to just see him in the fight. It's time to fight. You know, they want to do it sooner. He ain't going to do it sooner. He's going to wait as long as he can. As long as he can. He's not going to take one fight, then Kovalev. Not going to happen. And, you know... He's just going to dwindle. He ain't even on my pound for pound list, man. Not at all. I don't know how someone can have that dude on their pound for pound list. Like, he was on it in 11. All right? And in 12, he dropped a little bit. Um, 13, he dropped some more. 14, he dropped a lot because he didn't do dick. I don't care what the reasons were. He didn't do shit and other fighters were. Uh, 14... I mean, 15, he fought Paul Smith. Fell right the fuck off of it. Even if you had him at 10. No, he had one fight all year. You're telling me other fighters aren't doing more and don't deserve to be higher? You know, you can't just say, well, he did this a long time ago. I'm leaving him there. It's just people who like him and they can't take him off. And HBO has an investment in him, so they're leaving him on. But that don't mean, you know, that's why I don't, like, look at theirs as, like, anything real. You know, you have to know what the fuck you're talking about and make your own. Because um, everyone else is basically has an agenda. And HBO's pound for pound list or the list is totally agenda driven. Um, you, know, you gotta look at, you know, the Ring Magazine is probably the, the best. But I prefer to just, just you know, make my own. Because <laughs> I don't care about anyone's pound for pound list. They're all bullshit. Um... But I know what fighters deserve to be on a pound for pound list, and which ones don't. Um, and this guy just don't want to fight. So how can a guy who don't want to fight be on a pound for pound list? Now, let me know if you think the injury is real. Um, do you think we'll get this fight, or is he gonna try and pull a stunt? Because I guarantee you, the, the him fighting Kovalev after 2016 don't last for more than a year, so he could just take another year off. Uh, you know, come back maybe after all the light heavyweights have beaten the shit out of each other. Similar 
to Mayweather when he retired to avoid Paul Williams and Miguel Cotto, Margarito, Manny Pacquiao. You know the deal. Well, let me know what you think, man. Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Peace.